Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of one variable equations. This is standard 8.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two student groups going to an amusement park. So group one is going to buy nine tickets, receive, wow, $120 discount. That's a big discount. Group two is going to buy only three tickets, and they get, makes sense, a much smaller discount. So both groups spent the same total amount of money. That's very important. And the price of each ticket was the same. All right, so we're looking for the cost of each ticket. We've got some clues here. So we don't know what the tickets are going to be labeled. That's the unknown. Let's just go ahead and make that an X. All right, so what do we know about these two groups? There are two student groups. And we know that, that both groups spent the same amount of money, which means they're going to be equal. It's not going to be an inequality. So I'm going to say group one is going to equal group two. All right, so we know that those two are equal. So it is going to be an equation rather than an inequality. Let's start substituting what we know about group one and group two. Group one bought nine tickets. Um, each ticket is the same cost. So whenever I see ticket, I'm going to just put an X right there. So group one has got nine tickets. Now, $120 discount. Now, that's a word that we need to kind of know. It's not going to be defined for us. But when you take a discount, that means you're taking money away. So it's actually going to be 9x minus 120. If you add 120, it's going to change uh, what you're looking for. So we've got nine tickets and a $120 discount. So group two is going to have three tickets because it's 3x. So I'm going to take away 30 as well since that's also got a discount. So there we go. That's our equation. 9x minus 120 equals 3x minus 30. So we have to be able to create that equation from just a standard word problem. Now. What are we going to do after that? Well, it's pretty simple. We just start to do the work that we normally do. We isolate the variable. And so we're going to use the reverse order of operations. So the weakest operators there are the subtractions. And so uh, we're going to move the subtractions over. We're going to move all the x's to the other side. So let's get rid of the x's first. All right, so I'm going to take away 3x from this side. Take away 3x from this side to keep a balanced equation. So that's going to give me 6x uh, minus 120 equals, that's going to just cancel out to that 0. So I'm going to get negative 30. So 6x minus 120 equals negative 30. Now I'm going to take care of the minus uh, 120. I want to get rid of that so I can leave the 6x on its own. So the inverse operation is positive 120, or add 120. Do that to both sides. That's going to cancel itself out. So I'm going to end up with 6x equals, let's see, negative 30 plus 120. It's kind of the same as 120 minus 30, so that's going to be 90. Oh, good. It's kind of hoping that we would end up with positive numbers, because I didn't want my x to equal negative, because you can't have a negative cost. So now we just need to divide both sides by 6. And that is going to cancel out, or just going to make a 1. So x is going to equal 15. So there we go, $15 a ticket. If we wanted to, we can plug this back in, and we could uh, make sure it works. But it does, because we've done this correctly. So our answer x equals 15 is going to be c.